Hello everyone, welcome back to Farm Simulator 17 Seasons. Today is the first day of spring. Where is my... Uh, Alt F, there we go. Today is the first day of spring. As you can see, it's still very, very cold. The ground temperature is still 34 degrees. We can't really do anything at the moment because we have to wait on uh, at least 41 degrees ground temperature, I do believe. So we're we'll waiting until at least the third, fourth, fifth, sixth day of spring to do anything uh, as far as planting-wise. Our fields are ready to go. Uh, as you saw in the previous episodes, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse that I did of some winter wood chipping. Uh, I was just trying to figure out something to do. I said I know I know I said I wasn't going to do a whole lot of logging, but uh, you need something to do during the winter to make money. And uh, during that, I think we made uh, quite a bit of money. I went and bought uh, a truck there, as you can see, and I think uh, I think it worked out well because we gained a lot of money. We gained enough money that I put the truck up and I was going to be done for the winter and just fast forward through. Well, I was speeding time up to get through winter time because it never did snow. It never did do anything interesting uh, for us to see at all. So maybe next winter we will get some snow. Uh, I was speeding time up and wood chips went from, uh, let's go to find prices here. Wood chips went up from f like 400, 390 something to almost 800. It was like 791. So I took five loads of wood chips out of this truck and then I went and bought the Scorpion King um, <laughs> mainly because well if I'm gonna be doing wood chips I might as well be doing wood chips right but uh, the the better part of this is is that now uh, I can do wood chips faster more efficiently and I found a mod for a wood chip storage silo so we're going to be storing wood chips, so if we need them, if they go up in price, we can sell them. Uh, and I'm going to be doing this for uh, probably the next little while, just until we get some uh, some better weather and the ground warms up a bit. But I figured getting to see this with the Scorpion King would be ideal, and I didn't get a chance to record it. Um, I don't get to record all the time. I have specific times I can record. Uh, so I was just kind of playing, and then um, I realized that... Uh, I had enough money to buy this and I thought to myself well if I buy it now then I will have an opportunity to show it off and we can save up a little more cash and buy the wood chip uh, silo that I'm gonna put down next to the uh, I'm gonna put it down next to the uh, where you sell wood chips on the pier or on the dock so I figured um, better off just doing it this way now you know, a lot of people I know kind of getting that, uh, wow, well, you cheated money in kind of deal. And I promise you, I did not. I did not cheat money in. I don't even know how to alter the files in the game uh, for people that do that kind of thing. I do have a money mod, but I don't have it turned on on this playthrough, as you see every time I open the game. Um, I do not use money cheats as I feel that they take all the fun out of the game. Uh, it's, not, it's not fun consistently bringing in money and going and buying whatever you want. Uh, to me, it's more gratifying if you uh, if you do a little grinding for it. So, um, but I do want to do some wood chipping and go get our. We have enough money to do it. We have enough money to get our uh, wood chip storage. So I just want to fill this trailer up. It holds 400,000, by the way, 400,000 liters of wood chips. That's a lot. And putting it right down there next to it, we can just back up, pull forward, and dump our wood chips. Um, I don't really have a good spot on the farm to put it. It doesn't make much sense to put it on the farm, but I want to clear this off and I want to replant all these trees uh, for them to grow back. I'm not going to clear them all off because I do believe that the small ones are not fully grown. I think they'll still grow uh, a little more. So we're going to jump out real quick and we have this handy dandy tool. Uh, I don't even remember what the mod's called, but we can check stuff. Oh, it's a, it is 100% grown. Okay, it's a fir tree. What is this one? Is this a fir as well? Yeah, it's fir. It's 100% grown though. Okay. Well, never mind then. Those are 100% grown. We may cut them down as well. Um, but I just want to get the trailer filled up real quick, and we will go buy a... Why is that... Is there, is there a tree there? Let me drive through this real quick just to see if I run into something. It looks as if there's supposed to be a tree there. But there's not one. It's kind of weird. Okay. Oh, whatever. Whoa. Easy, fella. Let's see if that'll do it. That will. 
Very good. All right. Now, once we get the once we get the wood chips uh, into the trailer, we're gonna head down to where you sell them uh, over at the wood chips C export, and we're gonna put a uh, we're gonna put a uh, the, the wood chip storage thing next to it. So uh, I figured that would be that would just be way more handy to have than having to run out and and chip wood or if we end up doing poplar at some point, which I would like to, because I've only done in, uh, I think I did it in one of my playthroughs, maybe the first playthrough I did. But, um, haven't done it since, so I think it would be kind of interesting to go, uh, maybe even uh, clear all these stumps and stuff off and do some, uh, poplar in this area, I think would be kind of cool. Uh, just plant this whole field of, of poplar, that'd be kind of nuts because it takes so long to harvest. Um, but, I mean, that would give us a ton of wood chips. We may end up having to have one, more than one of those storage bins. And the only reason I want to do it is, is, I mean, legitimately for the money. That's it. Because you don't use wood chips for anything else, really. You, you use it to sell, and that's it. As far as I know, anyway. There may be another use for them, but I haven't found it yet, so. And I tried doing this in two-foot sections. Or two-meter two meter sections of wood and the logs would get jammed up I'd have to jump up there and move them around anyway after they would get jammed up so they, it was it was kind of useless to do it and I think that's going to be full but if I drop this here it's going to be um, it's going to be just laying there so let me go ahead and just cut it up and hopefully we don't go over 5,000 this unit will store 5,000 uh, liters of wood chip, so maybe this doesn't exceed it. Go ahead and one more, two more, looks like about three, yeah, there we go. Now that's the last one. Now that is the only bad thing, is when you do fill it up, um, it doesn't hold more than, than uh, 5,000, and this thing will let go of the log if you uh, turn this noisy guy off here too. There we go. Uh, if you let go of the log, it will not, uh, it will, it, I mean, if you get out of it and drive off, it'll let go of the log, and then you'll have to try to pick it up for 15 minutes, and it gets really annoying. So we've just about got this first area cleared out here. I probably want to grab these two, and then, uh, the ones right there next to us probably, and that'll probably be it. But, let's go down here and figure out what we have going on for space and I think I have an idea of where I want to put it. I want to make it uh, pretty easy to get to. Pretty accessible. And we'll probably buy it and dump these. I don't really see the point in selling these um, right away. The price is so low right now it's under 500 uh, per thousand liters. So we're just going to stop here. I'm going to go placeables and wood chip storage. Now, if I do this, right, so the, I forgot how to move my camera around, by the way, and the time lapse, I, I've forgotten how. Um, if we do this, that means we can pick up on this side, right? So if we do that, and then we go here, we look at it this way, we can literally, we're, we're staying out of the way of the containers there, but we can literally just back up um, and pick up wood chips and then drop them off. But, does that look ugly? Do I need to put it here and kind of block the container off a little bit? I think putting it here may be a better option. Honestly, that way it doesn't look so ugly and it's not sticking out in the middle. Let's do that. I can always come back and sell it if need be. So, that looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, it doesn't really fit the area, but I think it looks pretty neat. Now, let's uh, see if we can get backed up here and drop these off. Yep, there we go. It's accepting it. Very nice. So, uh, I don't know why, but I really like these grain, these silos like this. Uh, where you can just store stuff. It saves you from having to do weird stuff with the wood chips. I mean, you don't have to use the shovel. You don't have to do all that. It is kind of pricey. It's 90000 Uh I think it's well worth it, though, to be quite honest. So now, when we're backing in, we can just back in. 
right here. And we can hit start filling up. And then we can back on down. And just dump them off. Now that may seem kind of uh, easy and not very... Uh, <laughs> not very realistic in any way, and I don't really think it is. We probably should have put it on our land somewhere. Uh, but, you know, let's see what our money is looking like. We still got 30,000 in money left. That's not bad. What did we get for that harvest? 1,000? That wasn't bad. That wasn't much at all. So, uh, not very realistic, but it does look pretty good sitting there uh, from a distance. And it also makes things extremely easy. I guess we could have put it closer. That way we could drive in and then turn and back up. That probably would have been the better bet, but... Um... As you know, I tend not to do things specifically the right way. So, now, uh, I do want to figure out, whoa, come here. All right, so this is, this is I want to figure out what I can do with field four up here. Do I just leave it grass? I think I just leave it grass. And I think these trees I have to cut the limbs off of. Let's see if I can just climb up it like like sometimes you do and not being too. Yeah, so I have to cut the limbs off of those. But this is a big area for mowing, and it is actually our field. I didn't realize I had field 4 and 10. So um, I may just let this grow and leave it as grass and then go do field 10 as something completely different. Uh, since we do have that extra field I didn't think we had, uh, we will use... We will use that field uh, as well. We'll probably do. Uh, we did buy the header, but we gotta have a harvester uh, for the header, for the corn or for sunflower. And I don't have the money because I bought the scorpion king. I guess I could have bought one, but uh, since I bought the scorpion king, I don't really have the money for one. Let's see here if we can just back this guy back in here. Oh. These wheels that turn on the trailers kind of throw me off. It'll turn a little sharper than what you mean for it to most of the time. That's not the direction I wanted to go. There we are. And there we go. Alright, we don't really have anywhere to store the Scorpion King yet, but we will at some point. Back this guy on up a little bit. It looks kind of funny sticking way out there like that. There we go. And... Can we haul with this thing? We can't pull anything with this guy, can we? I didn't think so. Nah, we can't. Okay. So... Uh, I'm going to have to bring the tractor back over here and grab this guy, I guess. But for now, we're going to fold it up, bring the pipe in. And I think we are done. Uh, we are done logging for the moment. I will do some more of that off-camera. Uh, I don't know if you guys get tired of it or not. If you want to see some more logging, let me know. I mean, I don't mind doing it. Uh, I'm doing it strictly for the wood chips, though, so we can get up uh, to 400,000 liters of wood chips. For the next time they have a sale, we can just go unload and make a ton of money. Um, and really, it's only about uh, about seven trips with the 18-wheeler, so that's about that's two big trees or four small, uh, four of the shorter ones, I think. So... Anyway, we have kind of a plan uh, for the future that I would like to do. And there we go. Let's get that guy stuck down there. Um, we kind of have a plan for the future. So I want to do uh, wheat, barley, and what do pigs eat? I want to start buying animals. And I want to start buying them pretty quick. So, uh, we have enough stuff to get our, get our cows going. We already have sheep going, which they need to be watered and cleaned up probably. Uh, production's pretty good, 44%, not bad. Um, but pigs eat wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beet. So, uh, pigs are definitely going to be the way to go. We're going to start buying them uh, pretty soon though. 
So I do want to look at buying some and have them, having, having them delivered and then go check out their area and take them some water and straw if we have any more straw. I don't know if we do or not. Uh, but I do want to get into more animals because we've never really done a whole lot of animals in, this, in, in my series ever, in any of the series I've ever had. Uh, so we're going to do wheat, barley, canola. And what, what was the other one? Wheat, barley, canola, soybeans. So we're going to do soybeans in this field right here probably. And then we're going to try to buy this field at some point. Uh, it's 120,000 and it's only 1.62 uh, hectares. But uh, I figured if we do some more jobs for him, we might be able to get it down to around 120,000. And the field's not very small either. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly large sized field. I hit the wrong button. Hang on a second. There we go. It's a, a fairly large field. Uh, it's as big as probably 1921 and, uh, 1920 and 21 combined. So that would be a nice field to have. Field 23 right there. You can see my flashing arrow. Uh, also, field 10 is not very small either. It's, it's a nice size little field. So uh, we can do... Let's see. Let's turn this guy off for a minute so we're not wasting fuel. Uh, we could do... So we're going to get grass, so that's not an issue. Uh, I'll just have to remember not to turn it into hay. But we do need hay for the sheep. Uh, we don't need it for anything else. Oh yeah, we do. We need it for the total mix ration. So silage and hay, power food, uh, grass, base food, silage or hay, and power food. So uh, power food. I don't know what power food is. Let's go take a look at the animals real quick. Uh, crops harvesting, animals, cows. No. Total mix ration. I don't know what power food is. Huh. Uh, general. Okay. Transport. Caretaking. What caretaking is. Uh, they're going to be expensive for sure. I know this. But you can optimize milk production of cows by feeding the total mix ration TMR from mixer wagons. Mixer wagons take several feedstuffs. Uh, hay, solid straw, and whey blend. Whey and blend them into complete ration. The, this mix, total mix ration, then consists of base food and power food. So we need 40% uh, grass, it looks like 40% silage, and 20% hay uh, to make that manure manure can be used to fertilize your fields yep and i would like to get into that at some point too so we're not buying so much uh, fertilizer as long as you keep your sheep fed they produce wool sheep only eat only grass and hay in order to sell the wool you'll have to grab the pallets uh the pallet at the sheep pasture with a pallet fork and transport it to, transport it to the spinnery okay so chickens i got tons of chicken eggs on me i've been walking around picking them up uh pigs if you take care of your pigs of a multiply, they're going to be sold for a profit. Pigs accept large array of food, namely corn, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, and sugar beets. Okay, so pigs, the biggest, the biggest thing we have to worry about is how much they're going to eat and how much we can get out of our crop. So we'll probably base most of our, um, most of our crop around the pigs because with that we get straw. We know we can get grass and hay. That means we can make silage or power food. Uh, we need to get corn going. That way we can do uh, silage out of that too. But we're already going to have water straw, uh, wheat, barley, canola, and soybeans. But does that mean I need to mix these three? Or is it okay to have one or two of each or whatever? Either way, we're going to do wheat, barley, canola, soybeans. Uh, wheat barley canola soybeans and then on field 10 um field 10 i guess we could do you no know, we could just do that grass as well or we could do another uh soybeans you don't get you don't get a whole lot of a harvest out of a soybean so we could do a lot of soybeans we could do soybeans in uh, this small field and then field 10. That might be the way to go. I think we might end, up doing, might end up doing that. That would probably be the best bet. This guy will not fit in any of this, so I'm probably just going to park it right here between the two. 
probably going to be the best option for me. And I'm super happy to be in this thing and not cutting logs because cutting and stacking logs is just painful. Uh, wood chips are much easier. And if you time it right and do it right, you can make a ton of money out of wood chips. So let's cut this guy off. We're done for him for a while. Uh, I may uh, I may do some more off camera, but definitely not on camera anytime soon. Let's put the cover on you. Um, there we go. And our cultivator and plow are ready to go. Uh, they need to be cleaned up slightly, though. The, the, they're starting to look a, a bit uh, a bit peakish. All right, let's go grab our wood chipper and bring it back over here. Put it in this storage unit. I like these storage units because they have working lights. So there's a light switch on the inside of them that you can flip on and off, which is pretty cool. Uh, also, we need to run and see how much it's going to cost us for pigs and see if we have any hay. Uh, do they eat straw? They don't eat straw. So we need to take some, some basic materials over there to them. Some water, some uh, wheat, barley, or something. I know we got a little bit in storage, so we'll have to get that over there as well. So, I guess after we get this guy put up, we'll go grab the trailer and get some uh, wheat and barley uh, taken over to the cows. Now, this area is getting pretty banged up with tree stumps, so I am going to have to spend a ton of time over here cutting tree stumps, which <laughs> I really uh, just hate doing it because it takes so long. We'll stop and grab this. This piece of wood right here has been bugging me about the last four hours. Let's just grab this guy and let him live in there. There you go. Now, you have a new home. The next time we turn the wood chipper on, we will have a minuscule amount of extra wood chips pretty close to the back there just so we clear the doorway that does good deal now uh, what do we have hour wise 20 okay so we got 10 days till maintenance or 23 hours we're gonna stick with this tractor for now uh, let's just oop, this way let's just close this door up oh it's all the way down there okay There we go. Got to find the right one to get them closed. Actually, hang on a minute. Let's go turn the light off in here so we're not wasting electricity. There we are. I do like these for the lighting. That is that is pretty neat. I was I was I had forgotten about them. I've only used them a couple times, and I've forgotten about the lights, so it made me kind of excited. But didn't I have another trailer instead of the 18 wheeler? Oh, it's back here. I forgot. It's in our green storage building, our small vehicle storage. And I think it's behind door number one here. And it is. There we go. That should be far enough. Forgot how large this tipper was. It's a, it's a pretty big tipper trailer there. Um, I think I bought it and started using it for the... Uh, for the wood chips and then realized that it wasn't enough so I saved up enough out of the wood chips and went and bought that and then saved up enough again when they went for higher prices like I said they jumped from let's see what they are right now so after a while here they're 469 so they're still dropping uh, but it went from it went from roughly 400 to like 791 or something crazy it was just a really hard price to turn down. All right, so we have 12,000 wheat. We have no barley, no canola. We have sunflowers and soybeans. So we need to, do, and we have corn. So let's take, let's take about that much corn over there. I need some smaller trailers just to hook together to get two or three at a time. Uh, let's look and see how much the small tippers are. I mean, even even these guys. These guys would be great, but they're 9,000. So two or three of these would be fine as long as they hook together. Uh, I don't like the ones that steer from the front because they are very hard to turn. Uh, if these will hook together, I can buy two of these. But I don't want them that color. 
Let's just make them both black. No, let's not do that. I like I like blue. I like light blue. Rim color can be black though. All right, let's buy that, and then let's buy one more. Okay, now let's take our tractor over there. I think we can hook. Yes, we can hook another one up to this. Let's take our tractor over there and grab both of those. Oh, which is probably going to be it's going to be tricky. But we will make it happen somehow. Uh, I do need to start buying bigger tractors at some point. But I just don't want to have uh, super, super large trailers trying to haul three different pieces of grain over to the pigs at one time. Because the pigs are way down in the bottom right hand corner of the map. So they are way down there. Uh, and that's quite a long haul with three different loads of stuff. So if I take two small trailers, which a little bit will be will go a long way i don't think 3000 liters is gonna is gonna hurt um even even uh i don't think it's even gonna use 3000 liters i guess what i'm trying to say but uh, let's go pick up our two small trailers i'll be back with you in a second you know what after looking at how ridiculous this is it might be more beneficial just to buy three of these guys these little dudes uh just for this uh, cause I need to haul three different grain at the same time. If, if it was just volume thing, then I'm, I'm fine. I'm covered. I got the big 18 wheeler. I got this trailer, but I think it might be more. We'll try it once like this and then we'll come back and buy, um, that in this tractor is clearly not large enough, uh, to, to carry this kind of weight. So I think I'm kind of cheating the system here a little bit, but. Select all of these and put them all on left, I think. Hopefully this is food and not that. I also need to bring some straw down here and dump it in. Uh, I don't know where to dump it. Maybe on the back side back there? That's probably it. Alright, so let's uh, let's change to this one. We want to tell it left side. Oh, there's only a back and a grain door. So we're going to use the grain door on that one. We'll use the uh, left side of that one and the left side of that one. Now. Can I use all three of these or does it take one at a time? Looks like it takes different amounts of each. So if I just back up with all three of these trailers here, probably gonna have to push them a little bit. You know what? Let me just turn around. Probably easier. Just turn around. Um, I need to get more corn in there. I do believe. So I make sure I get the corn first. And I think the other two have used all they can use. So let's make sure we got enough corn in here. All right, three days. That one's done. Is this one not registering? Is that what's going on? Put it right there and see. Uh, I guess that's all it takes. Okay, so now let's check our our pigs in the animal section here. Okay, yeah, so they take different amounts. So wheat and barley is full, corn is full, canola, sunflower, soybeans is full. We don't have any sugar beets, potatoes, so that's out of the question. We do have straw, so we can go grab some straw and bring back over here. And then uh, water, and we have water. So that means we can go buy pigs as soon as we get some water over here. I want to get them uh, fed and strawed up and watered up before we buy any. Give me just a second, I'll be right back. All right, something else I do want to go buy is another auger wagon or an auger wagon. I've never really used those either. I want to start uh, leaving the truck out uh, on the road and not taking it out in the field because that's kind of unrealistic. You don't see that uh, when farmers are harvesting crops uh, in their everyday life. So why would I do it? 
but we need to think about that and uh, go buy an auger wagon to drop into the truck. Now, I want to run over and grab the water barrel. Uh, we'll fill the uh, sheep and stuff up while we're there just so they are full and probably clean them up. We got a bucket over there. So, um, probably going to buy a little cheap tractor with a front end attachment to leave at each of these positions so they don't have to uh, drive all over the world. Although, you know, I guess as long as we're doing this. Um, uh, in a semi-realistic way. I'm not going to play super realistic because then I'd have to drive first person everywhere and I don't have the GPS mod installed so uh, plowing and uh, planning would get kind of tricky. Uh, for me, when you get into the bigger equipment that's bigger than the tractor, it's hard to really tell. So, uh, tell where you're at anyway on the field. So, I'm not doing a super realistic series. I do want to keep this as realistic as possible. So, I may keep the driving aspect in the game because you're not going to buy... in. in Realistically, you're not going to buy a tractor for each each spot you have animals, I don't think. Um, you probably, if you have to have a tractor over there, you probably take your tractor with you and, and you know, trailer it over or something. Uh, but that's field 10 right down there. Right here? Is this field 10? Yeah, so this is field 10 right here. That's a nice size field. I'd say we could do some with that for sure. Uh, as soon as the ground temperature gets up to 41 degrees, we're going to start planting because I think everything else, yeah, everything else is above 50, uh, 41, so we can't do sunflowers or corn or soybean until it gets up to 50 degrees, but that's not until um, early summer, late fall, I mean late spring. Uh, we don't have the capacity to do uh, potato sugar beets yet. They take an entirely different setup. Corn and sunflowers do as well, but I think we can manage uh, if we just keep grinding out some wood chips, which, again, I will do off-camera to save you guys the pain of watching that. Uh, but we can do wheat, barley, canola, and soybeans. And we can plant everything but soybeans, uh, hopefully starting the third or fourth day of uh, spring. So, um, looks like the temperature goes up slightly uh, on the fourth. Uh, third, fourth, and fifth. And we should be into good weather after that. Even during the summer, even the summer month, uh, summer month, it's, uh, the high is 66, 65, 65. So it's going to be hotter on Thursday, on the 5th of spring, than it is on the 1st of summer, which is kind of weird. All right, let's see how much these guys need cleaning up. They do need a bit, so let's grab our bucket. There we go. Do a bit of cleaning. I think we got that. We did. Oh, let's pick it up just a hair there. Pick it up a little bit more. Oh, oh, we just killed our trailer. We just ran all over the trailer. That's never good. Never good. There we go. Now, we have all that picked up, I think. Yep, we do. Okay, good. Let's just dump it back in here for them. Not run them over, maybe, would be be helpful. Oh, we have floating sheep, apparently. So this stuff will not... Will not dump out of the bucket for some reason. That's alright. We're going to leave the bucket here anyway. Uh, probably put it down right here where we had it. There we go. Now, I wonder if I can just hop out for a second here. Uh, we cannot attach a trailer to that. Can we attach one to this? Because if we can, we will take... Uh, we can't. So the water's got to be taken separately. Hmm. Okay. Well, this, this, uh, this is a problem. Let's see here. There we go. Let's just back on up with a smidge there and we'll just fill them on up there we go should be good for three days so we should be good for a while oh that's not the button I meant to push that one is uh, I don't think I even need that guy to come back with me I think I can empty it into the small trailer uh, hay or straw I think I need both for pigs I can't really remember but I know I need the water so there we go water full for three days let's check the pigs again real quick we need straw not hay and I think I still have some straw left. Uh, if not, I've got some bales that 
I can uh, grind a little bit of money and grab one of, uh, let's see, bailing. I can grab one of, oh, it's under animals. I can grab one of these. That's 14,000. It's not that much money uh, that we can dump bales into and uh, cover the ground with straw. So definitely something to look at. Also, if we don't want to continue paying the fee, because we do plan on buying a lot of animals, we'll probably end up buying one of these trailers. Um, does it does it have a certain amount that it holds or no? I don't think it does. Uh, but we will end up needing one of these. A total mix ration uh, trailer to do some mixing. All right, let me get this water over to the pigs. And then we'll grab some straw. You know, guys, I was just looking at this, and realistically, the field next to 19 that's got all the trees in it, we could clear that completely off and use that as a field, I guess. Uh, the same thing down there next to 27 in the bottom left-hand corner. We cleared that off and cleared all the stumps. We could use that as a field, too. So we could have a, a very, very large field next to field 19 there if we wanted it. Uh, do we want it, though? That's the question. You guys let me know. In the comment section below if we should clear the rest of these trees ground the stumps and turn this into another field for ourselves all right there's water for them for three days we're gonna take this back do I have another there's another storage shelter here I did not even realize that now my question is do you use this right here for hay or for silage or for uh, not silage but for manure probably I think that's probably what this is for all right let's head back to the farm for you guys in a second if you have found 10 gold nuggets so far check your map for the remaining locations of the nuggets sweet okay so it gives us the uh, it gives us the locations holy crap okay I don't know, does it give us locations after that? I know I'm driving through here, but I wanted to drive through and pick up that nugget. Boy, water costs a ton of money these days. There we go, and we'll just leave him sitting there. We'll go over here and grab one of our trailers. Oh boy. Didn't want to turn. Now I am going to have to start pulling through here like this once we get crops planted. I realize that. But for now, we need straw. We probably don't need that much. I don't have any hay, but that's okay. Probably don't need that much straw. Let's just take that amount there. Now the trick is to make this one do what I want the back one to do. There we go. Now then, all right, back to the pigs again. We don't even have pigs yet, but we're going to. A long episode, I know. Very long episode. Probably the longest one I'm ever going to do. So we got our pigs over here, and I just wanted to come check them out real quick and take a look at how realistic they look. And they do look very realistic. Um, it's kind of surprised me, honestly. How realistic they are. The ears flapping around, the tails moving around, the snout on them. They do look very realistic. It's very neat, uh, to say the least. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I know this is a long episode. I uh, appreciate everybody watching. Do let me know in the comments below if you want me to turn this field with all these uh, trees, all these fir trees, uh, into a field that we can use to plant crops. Uh, it's a very large field if you look at the map. Um, right here where the flashing arrow is next to field 19. Uh, it's a very large field compared to what we have now. So it would be nice and it would take quite a long time. We would probably generate quite a bit of money because I'm going to say we would fill up our, our wood chip uh, storage pretty quickly. And then the rest of that would just be sold or we would buy another wood chip storage and have 800,000 liters of wood chip storage. But either way, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Later, everybody.